Well, hello YouTube modeling friends. Uh, it's Tales from the Basement. And uh, there's some of the collection. And uh, I don't do a lot of videos. I, I promised I was going to get back to you. And uh, then I had a basement flood again. And if you look down low, um, there's a lot of kits missing, unfortunately. We, um, if you look at the back wall there, you'll see where the insulation of the backing paper was uh, pulled away as well as the framing at the bottom and down here it's a little dark but you can kind of see that and we ended up with two and a half feet of water in the basement so roughly oh I don't know it's hard to show you on here but you know below where those cut pieces of uh, framing are um, this happened end of August so uh, like I said I lost a lot of kits and everything is all kind of scrambled up right now some replacement kits and whatnot that uh, I've been able to manage to get. I uh, lost, like I said, lost a lot of stuff, and I'm still not back to normal because I don't have all my electricity down here yet because we're waiting for construction. But um, what I did get was this really, really neat, and I got to back up to show you this. Uh, never mind the box that's inside of it; it's a box of tools from a friend. But um, this is my new paint booth. Uh, my buddy and I built. Well, mostly my buddy. Um, I helped, you know, pick up some of the stuff and we carried it around and stuff, whatever, but, um, I helped make the legs, if that's anything, like consolation, but, um, yeah, this is a nice, uh, downdraft sp uh, spray booth that was, uh, oh gosh, I don't remember who it was that, um, that designed it, but it was, uh, on the internet a long time, probably about 15 years, at least 10, maybe 15 years. It's, um, like I said, it's a downdraft. I'll move the box and we'll see pegboard takes the draft through the filters and there's a plenum in the bottom and it goes out that hole over there which goes into this nice Granger um, blower and the blower will be hooked up to blow out that vent up there eventually once I move my nice pictures off the wall etc but um yeah as soon as I uh, you know had my 2016 I had a, a, a smaller flood about a six seven inch flood in my basement and um, yeah I got back to normal eventually and got to working and uh, then we had this flood so I'm way behind again and uh, uh, it's frustrating sometimes because you know I got a I had throw rugs and things so no big deal down here but still it's a lot of damage uh, the claim is still ongoing, um, but like I said, I've been able to replace some kits. Toolbox was full of tools, and actually a lot of my friends got together and uh, sent me tools and a couple gift certificates to, uh, to buy tools. Uh, tools were given to me. Tools and sandpaper were mailed to me from all over. Um, when I went to the NNL Nationals in Toledo, I was handed a couple packages of uh, knife blades and tools um, and sandpaper. So. Uh, I have to say hello to my, my friends out there that helped me out in my time of need, if you will. Uh, a couple of my buddies put out the word that, hey, Pat's had a struggle again. And uh, um, so, again, I thank all those people because it's a humbling experience to see how many people reach out and offer to help you in, when this time. Um, if you see the bottom um, row, of none of those kits got affected. The water didn't come up quite that high but it came up a good distance so like I said anything that was on that bottom shelves which were in Rubbermaid tubs plastic tubs and uh, when there's that much water they become buoyant and then they float and tip and uh, and take on water so unfortunately but hey we uh, we move on and we had a family illness so I've been occupied with that but uh, anyway enough of this damage like I said it's uh, I got this really cool uh, downdraft. Here, let me click it on here. And if you can hear it, it's pretty quiet. Um, again, like I said, the uh, the ducting will go out here, and it will go up, out. But it's a it's a great it's a it's a shielded motor, so there's not going to be any spark problems or whatnot. And um, yeah, so I'm getting back to normal again, and now we're getting into uh, well, middle of November here. And it's cold. It's gotten cold, so I'd like to get some insulation back on the walls and some carpets down. But 
they were going to have some workmen come in and uh, do the drywall and framing and stuff. So um, everything's gotten dusty because I've had to just shove it aside. There was a desk that had all the models, the built models, sitting on it while the desk had to go, and uh, I haven't replaced it yet. But um, everything's pretty good, you know. Like I said, not a lot of stuff. <sighs> you know, probably about a hundred kits. Some of my built ups are gone, and. Um, and even for the rest of the house, there's some new stuff I got at uh, at shows and uh, stuff and whatnot. So it's a real mess, <laughs> but as you can see, anything from uh, from you know just about those wood cuts down. That's how high the water was. Well, not quite that high, but uh, at least to let's say this level here. And uh, so that's two two and a half feet, and eh, it's a struggle. So. We got that uh, hot water tank replaced. We replaced the furnace. We lost a lot of almost all our Christmas. Uh, here's what's left of our Christmas decorations, which is mm, not much. <laughs> uh, tree's gone, so you know. But as the hobby goes, it's uh, you know I lost a lot of paint. I I was a hoarder of Tamiya spray paints, and uh, again those tubs and those rolling. Um, Rolling things with the drawers, well, yeah, they, uh, they, they, they float, then they tip, and, uh, so anyway, um, that's life. I'll get back to it, so that's why I'm not, you haven't seen many updates for me. Um, I did just photograph the Motor City NNL number 13, and you'll see another, um, see another video on that. So other than that, um, the work table is, uh, a temporary, um, it might become the permanent one because I'm not sure how many more floods I can take. So I don't, I don't want to build any furniture in here to. <laughs> anyway, we'll get back to building, and uh, you know my latest couple of projects were safe. They're sitting there. The Catalina and the '66 Suburban, so everything's kind of okay. But you know, it's frustrating again. So enough doom and gloom. I will uh, talk to you again, hopefully with better news next time. Thanks for watching.